Welcome back to your live continuing coverage at Toy Fair 2017 here live at the Jacob K. Javits Center. You are the Terrifics. You make Be Terrific special. That's why we do this at Be Terrific TV on all social media. And of course, send us your feedback. We love the positive feedback. Keep it coming. It is connect at BeTerrific.com for that. And if you'd like to join our Slack chat, 24-hour real-time conversation with us, you and the rest of the Terrifics, seven days a week. So Paul Dixon's in there right now in the UK. Caroline is watching. I know that Princess is in there. It's unbelievable. I've got Dr. David Milch alongside me. We're having a lot of fun, aren't we? Oh, we're having a great time, Michael. I mean, you can't have a bad time at Toy at Fair. At Toy Fair, right? <laughs> I never have a bad time with you and with the Terrifics, I uh, must tell you. Thank you, and that's true, but I'm just saying at Toy Fair, you have to be smiling even more. This gentleman, Stalin, is uh, from a company called Flybar, which originally was called SB Enterprises or Industries, something like that. And they are the inventor of the pogo stick, the original company the that made the pogo, pogo stick. famous pogo stick. Yeah. That is so cool. Now, um, the pogo stick was invented, I guess, in, in, in upstate New York, and you guys are still there, and you're now yes, called Flybar. Yes, we are now Flybar, and it's because all, all along its history, from George Heinsberg from 1918, who invented or who started the company, He's always been into innovation. So in the 1957, he got a new patent for the Super Polo, which we're going to take a peek at later. And then uh, in the year 2000, the owners, the second owners, created new innovation with a thruster system polo that could uh, propel you six feet in the air, which is in our in our place. We didn't want to bring that out in. And, well, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, six yeah, feet would be a little crazy. Is, yeah, people can do flips on it and do crazy really? stuff on it. Yeah. And, and, and do, I would imagine parents would be a little nervous about that, and they want to start <laughs> them on something. Get, get, get a helmet. We, we, you can start on something. Like an iPogo. How about a parachute? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so one of those wingsuits, at least. Well, you know, yeah. uh, obviously, safety is a, is a big concern for us, but yeah. you'll be surprised, um, and you, you can tell by the insurance rates. To get insured for a pogo stick as a company yeah. is a lot less than for a skateboard. So really? Oh, safer. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. How, how did the how did the guy invent the pogo in 1857? Well, yeah, no, in 1918. The story in 1918. Is he was in Burma. Yeah. And uh, visiting out, out in Burma and this. Um, in Burma in 1918, right, that right, would be like Burma, World War One. Myanmar, yeah, yeah, Burma, like Burma, Burma, Southeast Burma. Asia. Wow. He was in Southeast Asia and he saw uh, a was, farmer was trying to get his daughter across a field. And so he made these wooden things, these wooden pallets, kind of like stilts, that she would hop around so that she wouldn't get her feet dirty in the mud, you know, over the farm. So he saw that idea and brought it back to the States and said, you know what, you know, I can make something of this. And then what, what, what really took it off in the 1920s, he was friends with um, uh, Florenzo Zigfield from the famous Zigfield Follies. Sure, Follies, sure. And so they put that into one of those crazy Zigfield shows, and it, it, was, it was the craze. You know, in the 1920s, like, it was, everything was a craze, so... Pogo became so necessity is not just the mother of invention, it's the mother of the pogo yeah, stick. Yeah, absolutely. And what's absolutely. interesting, I think, is that the pogo stick has gone through many different ups and downs. It, it goes, yes, into, it it goes into popularity and out of popularity and back in. It seems yeah. like it's always there. And it's my job to make sure it keeps going up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. How, uh, how did you get to the company? Well, I've been working in sporting toys now for almost five or six years. Um, and I met the, the, the CEO and he knew uh, the creativity I can bring and the energy. And we both had this passion that we knew Flybar had the legacy and we just wanted to take that legacy and really expand on it. I think we, we, think, we thought the brand was completely underutilized. Right. And so when he bought it about three years ago, I joined the team and we've been just knocking it out of the park really. Because not only are we doing pogo sticks now, we're doing stilts, we're doing pogo balls, the classic pogo toy, but again, re redesigned. So it's three totally years redesigned. since new management came in yes. and built upon the 100 yeah. year almost, well, yeah, next yeah, year, 100 yeah. year legacy Absolutely. of the company, um, introducing new products, extending uh, existing great. lines, and we classic have, We have a skateboard of, line, we have gear. Right. But pogo still is, it, pogos are still like in our DNA, it's it's what we do best, so. How many really pogo excited. sticks? We year. have right now, I, that, that, that information we don't give. Okay, give, give well, how that. many are out there? Um, would you guess? Th thousands and thousands. And uh, most of them are going to be Flybar. Okay. If, you, if you go into Google and you type uh, Pogo Stick, we're the number one search result. Wow. Because and it's just that's what people refer. And what it is also having had patents and, and things like that, people copy us a lot. Mm. So what we, we have to field and obviously through legal action. So there are people patents, of course, on some, some of the, on some of the, expire, on some of the names, right? some, on, yeah. some of the, on some of the branding. Right. Like we have the word master, which is a, a classic double handle pogo stick. We have mm -hmm. the, we own the rights to master and people will put that on their product on their site. 
and they're not allowed to. Right. They're not allowed to. So we, right. we have to well, protect that. Well, with Bluetooth that. now, when people wanting to measure the ergonomics on how many steps they take a day, yeah. how many calories they're burning. And that's where we're you know, going. That's I where see we're you've got a readout to. here. Is that kind of the direction that's you're going? That's the direction we have to go. Obviously, we know that kids today don't get as much exercise as they used to. They don't play as much outdoors. So we know the future of all our products, and especially a pogo stick, is it has to be interactive. I mean, this is what we're calling version one for 2017. It's an awesome product. But I think in 2018, 19, we're going to have things that are more interactive with the kids. Connecting iPad to or things like Fitbit yeah, yeah. or to your smartphone, etc. Getting Absolutely. the information. We, we've or, already or maybe, had that in the works. Yeah. Maybe there's a tip on his wrist, the Apple Watch. Ah, there you know, we that, go. That's, yeah, we, we obviously get information sure, everywhere sure. we can. I mean, the possibility obviously. is choosing your partners correctly so that yeah. it's reasonable to introduce Now, how did you get away with the uh, iPogo? Because I thought that Apple has literally, uh, uh, has literally patented or trademarked everything with yeah. I in front of it. Not iPogo. <laughs> Apparently <laughs> not. <laughs> So talk about the iPogo Junior. So the iPogo Junior, now this might turn out a little loud, is a traditional pogo stick at, at first glance. But it, when you turn it on, it introduces itself, it talks to you. And what this is... Yeah, well, it's ready to jump now. So what, it, what it's going to do, and I'm, I can't do it because it's 80 pounds. Right, it holds 80 pounds, pounds yeah. But the more I, I press on, it's going to count. Sure. But what it's really going to do, it's going to motivate the kid. Mm. It's going to say, keep going. You're doing a great job. And I got to say, when I picked it up the first time, this is a substantial, yeah. you know, device. It's not just a toy. Oh, you got a lot of LED lighting on the back. LED lighting inside of a product. Okay, so it's really got the little so you, you guys know, are yeah, really revitalizing the brand because I think when I was a kid, the pogo sticks were no different than the pogos in the 50s and 60s. They're really metal. No, we have... Yeah, okay, so... He's, yeah, he's, you can You can push it. Keep push going. All the way down, all the way down. No, the, okay, go ahead. Okay, so right. it's counts. Yeah, but after a certain while, it starts just motivating. It says, keep right. going. You're, right. you're a fly bar star. And there's, there's yeah, different can you milestones. Speed you, of, you seem no. like you have pretty good form on that. <laughs> Maybe we should get you on a pogo. Oh, I, I might have one that I, might I actually did, work for you. I a fair amount of... Yeah, one that will carry me? Yeah, yeah, I think you, I have one. You do? I, I did some pogoing when I was a kid. Did you? Yeah, absolutely. Right. You think well, you still you, got you, it? You sound like you don't believe it. I, I don't know. You know I what? I think I still have it. I'll tell you what. I know, in the garage I, from uh, 40 years ago. I know Doc a long a time, car, and I'll tell you something. He's a tremendous athlete. He he can he can ride horseback like nobody's business. He can play tennis, racquetball. He's an right. excellent sailor. Uh, he skis. But can he pogo? But that's, and that's the question. That's right. Can but I can pogo? He, he still rides a bike, you know, a lot. I, I'll call him on the phone and he'll be riding a, a bike. Like, and I don't mean like a stationary yeah, bike. No, he'll yeah. be riding a bicycle. Yeah. This is so cool. You know, and so just... he's very talented. But pogo? It's, it's a special I'll give it skill. A if you have I mean, what was the last one. time you pogoed? The last time I pogoed. Oh, my God. Uh... Probably uh, <laughs> <laughs> 1970. So oh, okay. 40 so years it's ago, been a while. Yeah, 40, yeah, yeah. And you think but you it's still like, got it? It's like riding a bicycle. It's probably okay. not something that you uh, that forget. you forget. Yeah. All right, we're gonna see. So you were gonna say one thing about this? If uh, I'm flat on my thing. butt. Then uh, I'm gonna, no, you can remind me that I said that. But you know. oh, the problem is, if you're flat on your butt, who's the doctor? That's a good question. No, we're previewing it here. We're launching it in May with all the hoopla, social media, unboxing. We're really excited for for this product to be a great. I like that the company has now with new ownership gone into skateboards and other things mm -hmm. but stayed true to pogo no, no, it, absolutely it's, and it's so also you're you're not just making the same old pogo stick you're doing mm -hmm. different things yeah. so what's the pogo that we're going to let david try uh we have one of our classics called wait, the super wait, we're pogo. really going to do this yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to do this <laughs> wait, you don't want to do it now <laughs> my father said keep your mouth <laughs> shut so, no no i'll give it a shot sure why not he's a smart <laughs> man he is a very smart man <laughs> uh, all right, well, let's all right so shot. where is it you oh, got the, that thing over there. Oh, the, oh wow. wow. Okay. That thing's got chrome. It, that looks like the Mack truck of uh, pogo sticks. Well, this actually well, is. Well, so we need you to, I think, back up a little bit so we can get you Where fully you in the be? shot. A little further back. All now, right. maybe a little there. So, yep. So that we don't want you falling off the stage. And uh, hold on. Let me right. let me just make sure. I want to get out Place there. Your bets. <laughs> I want to make sure he's going to be okay. Oh, I, I was going to try and adjust the camera, too. Okay. We got, we got good focus got on this, Adam? Or? You're on I'm the gonna, fly bar Super Pogo. No, is that, is that the focus right spot? You know, there aren't 150, yeah, uh, no, 200. Can right. I start dialing 911? No, exactly. You better <laughs> have it on speed dial. All right, so we're we're in focus now, and this is the Super Pogo. Yes. And the Super Pogo's got a huge spring there. This is similar to the original Pogo, but this new is very improved. similar, but improved in terms of strength so you, and durability. You've done this before. Uh, quite a in while 1970. ago. Yeah, I have 1970. Done this Here well, we go. We had bell bottoms on, probably. Whoa! Come on. 
You know what? I think he did it last week. Oh, one handed he's too. Been, he's been practicing. You see, he never forgets. One handed? Oh. Wow. All right. Oh, he's going uh, no hands. Don't go no hands. <laughs> wow. I give a clap to that. Okay. That Good is amazing. Job. All right. What, how did it feel? It gives you a cardio. Yeah, it, it, does, it gives, gives you a great, great workout. That's yeah, what we no, touch on I mean, that, that. Well, I actually meant how did it feel to be back on a I'm poker stick? You, you have a customer, yeah. okay? For Come sure, I have a customer here. Now, has J- he has a 14-year-old son named Jason. He's a great kid. Has Jason? Oh, yeah, he's a great athlete. Mm-hmm. He would love this too. Has he yeah. ever been on a pogo stick? No, Jason's never been on a pogo wow. stick. About time, then. Yeah. yeah. This is super. Wow. Awesome. And the great thing is you can do it anywhere. I mean, you can do it in a rural environment, but you can also do it in an urban yeah, environment as well. Sure. Yeah, we're also coming out with quieter ones that you can do indoors, like in a gym. I get a high five with that. Yes, you do. Yeah, there you go. Good I job. think the terrific's got to be going Very nuts. Impressive. Very impressive. Uh, they want me to have a go. They are blown away by the fact that you can do that. I'll tell you what, there's no way I'm getting on a pogo stick. I would have if you to, didn't pogo when you were I, a kid, I, you I, did, start I mean, now. very little when I was a kid. Um, so... And it's been a long time, but I wasn't a master like you. You know, like you said, it's like getting on a bike. Right. I didn't do it enough to, to be able to do it. I, I tried it several times. <laughs> wow. You can still good. feel it. Yeah, yeah, Part yeah, of it's good. also just uh, doing it live. Right, doing it live, not certainly. Not making a, a fool of myself. <laughs> yeah, you did it a great worked. job. I was you did. Impressed. I'm Thank very you. impressed. Thank Thank I had no idea you could pogo. I you didn't know, know until I came on the set that I even <laughs> thought about it or remembered pogoing. But, great. but, you know, it really, you know, for an adult, it takes you back to your childhood. It, there's a lot you know, of nostalgia. It, takes, it really, a lot of nostalgia. Lot of nostalgia. Yeah. It's and, not just yeah. a nostalgia product. It's not just a nostalgia sale. I mean, this that thing, the one I just wrote, yeah. Yeah. it's a heavy-duty piece yeah, of absolutely. equipment. That's yeah, it's a real yeah. piece of... Is uh, it? Was it fun? Oh, it was great. Like I said, it, you know, immediately I could feel, you know, my heart rate going up. And So uh, is that something that, you know, Pogo never thought of? Before? I mean, the fly bar yeah, and, and before that, you guys never really thought of in the past was that this is actually a workout? We're doing, uh, we're partnering with an Australian educational system called mm-hmm. Pogo Pogs that actually brings pogoing in, into the gyms. And we're, we're piloting programs in the United States. So we're, all, we're doing everything. Oh, so so you know, they've got Soul Cycle and, yeah. and uh, right. Flywheel and all that stuff. Maybe there'll be a uh, oh, pogo gym. the one gym? that they have now where you do the competitive cycling, uh, 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 Peloton. Peloton. Oh, yeah, oh, it's a just Peloton. Taken off. Yeah. It's because you can be in your home and you can sure. cycle or pogo. Yeah. You know you who's know, got a Peloton? Adam. Oh yeah, he, I, he want he wants you to get one so you can compete against yeah, each other. Yeah, I would get a Peloton. I, every time I see the commercial, I'm wondering. I just need to be able to fit it into the apartment. But uh, are there? Which makes me ask yeah. a question: um, Are there any pogo competitions? I mean, uh, yeah, absolutely. There is X Pogo. X Pogo is the World Championships of Extreme Pogoing, and we're talking about guys that jump 10 feet in the air. Do all kinds of things. Check out xpogo.com. They're a big partner of ours. X with a dash or just xpogo. xpogo.com. Yes. You'll, see, you'll see amazing stuff. You go to our booth too. We have a lot of videos playing. These guys are doing incredible flips and stunts and tricks wow. on it. And we're the premier sponsors of that competition. How about uh, pogoing on a very narrow you know, they can track? Do everything. They, they, they do on the, the edges of, yeah, of banisters, yeah. it's almost like skateboarding. They, right, they, do, right. they do it. Because it demands strength, yeah. balance, agility, endurance, all yeah. of those. You know, it, it'd be awesome to see uh, pogo as part of the uh, the X Games. That's exactly what they're striving for. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's X Pogo is a community of just young guys that started at Pogos maybe I think almost 15 years ago and they built a company that just that promotes the Pogo sport at the extreme level so very it's, cool it's out there yeah yeah because I, I, if you start typing in Pogo X Pogo fly bar you'll you see a whole new world of people just well, I gotta tell you I, I hadn't thought about Pogo sticks until I came on this set today and we started to talk about it and immediately you know if if you weren't here and I was watching this show, I would want to get myself yeah, a pogo man. stick. You know, it's pretty so cool. So for all of you adults that still remember what it was like when you were a kid and you had your pogo stick, you should definitely go to Fly Bar, and uh, I'm sure you have uh, on, on, you know Absolutely. you have your web your e-commerce. Sure, your, sure. You can buy from your website and, and all. And I mean, it's great for young kids too, like uh, Jason. And uh, sure. I mean, Jack's a little young, sure. but a year or two, I'd, I'd put Jack probably, on. They should wear they're, helmets. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, no, a lot, a lot of packing you know, always yeah. says recommend helmets yeah, right. and gear, especially when they're starting out. But once kids get really comfortable, you know how yeah. they are. They, and again, it's 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 rather safe. You're going up and down if you're not doing stunts and flipping and so around. So, what age group is the? Uh, the iPogo Junior is right. five to five plus, but it's forty to eighty so pounds. So, five year old, six year old. Actually, my, my five year old can, can do this. That's probably yeah. when you started, don't you think? When you were f- about five, six. Oh, uh, we probably started. I got to think back when we moved to. Uh, I was a little older. Yeah. I was a little. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably uh, nine or ten. Okay. In that, yeah, nine sure. or ten. Exactly. Well, it's one of those things where some kids like really, beca- it becomes a passion for them. They just want to reach that 
thousand or be able to do a thousand exactly. in a row. They just keep adding and at it. And it, it, you know, just it's just a really good workout. Very cool. Thank you so much for coming Thank on. This was fun. I mean, yeah. who knew? It was fantastic. Yeah, very Real impressive. pleasure. Thank, Thank you, you so much you. for reintroducing uh, this to, for me and for the uh, the terrifics. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, wonderful, uh, you know, little little nostalgia from the past and seeing how you've brought it up into the present. And yeah, uh, congratulations! Friends. It's a great Thank story, you. also, of Thank taking a, a classic uh, company made in USA and uh, mm -hmm. branding and mm -hmm. uh, and bringing it to the next stage yeah. of development. It's very exciting. It's all about. Thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. And and if they do have a pogo gym, it's going to be called Fly Bar. It's perfect. You know, you've got exactly. Soul Cycle and you've got Flywheel and you've got uh, Great brand. Peloton. Yeah. You've got Fly Bar. Fantastic. Absolutely. I love Expect it. to see you on uh, television infomercials. Uh, you Perhaps. know, anytime soon, right? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Well, I'll, I'll bring you along to do the demo, though. <laughs> 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 make, make sure I sign a release yeah. first, right? Yeah. I'll have the waiver signed. Thank sure. you so much. Thank We're going to take a quick break and we'll be back with a whole lot more of your live continuing coverage of Toy Fair 2017 right after this. Stay with us.